It's time to rebuild from a good mod that's turned sour. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me on my save game of Hubbard, Nebraska, the 16X map from Texar Mapping Gaming, a spectacular map that I've been live streaming Fall Harvest on. But last night in a live stream, we found out that some of my husbandries, they've stopped working. What do you do? What the heck happens? Why? Well, we're not going to actually go in and rebuild a mod. We're just going to take a mod that was once a spectacular mod and rebuild it with something similar from Mod Hub available mods. So here we go. So to start, this is the original Elk Mountain modding horse pasture. One of my favorite horse pastures that was put out. Uh, and Elk Mountain does some really amazing mods and maps. Check them out. But this mod is really old. In fact, I think it's multiple years old. Uh, it came out many, many revisions ago in the game, well before this Hubbard 16X map existed. Uh, and it still works. It still functions. You can still put a horse in there. But for whatever reason, on my save game, on my system, on this map, my horses, they never get healthy. Their health always stays at zero. It does not matter what I do to them. I feed them, I ride them, I clean them. They always are at zero. And I had a similar problem over here in my pasture with another um, open pasture. I think it might just be, again, these older mods not working in the newer version of the game on newer maps. That is absolutely not anything against the modder. Um, again, these were spectacular mods in their day. They worked great. So how do we fix it? Well, I'm not going to go in and really fix anything in the mod because I'm candidly not smart enough to do that yet. I may never get there. But what I'd like to do is take what I think is one of the cooler, like, horse pastures for your house and rebuild it with available placeables from the in-game mod hub. So, we're going to use this same area. It's not very big. It's right along the driveway up to my house. And I've got this new, well, option. And it's available on the in-game mod hub. But I think it might be for PC only because it is expandable. So, we can go into pastures. We can look at horses. And it is the EP-ready expandable pastures mod. And what this is, is basically just an open pasture that you can then place other squares or triangles around it and make the area larger. Notice there are no fences. we got to add our own fences. Before I put that down, though, I want to find a building. And the building I'm going to use, I'm just going to grab a barn. Because remember, you don't have to build things... Um, that are specifically designed as like the husbandry. You can take a building, place it down. You could then take that expandable pastures mod, place it down, place some decorative fencing around it, and you make your own husbandry. You don't have to have a mod for it. So the building that I'm going to use, I've got to find it. It's way, 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 way back here. It is called the Old Wooden Barn. I really like this. It fits the decor of uh, the decor, the decor of my map pretty well. I'm using a lot of the red barn pack, as you can see. And this particular barn, it looks old, it looks weathered. I really like it. And you can change the color. And this is available, I believe. Now I'm questioning myself, but I am like 99% certain this is available on the in-game mod hub for all platforms. I want to try to find a color that I like that closely matches. It's not terrible, but I'm going to see if I can find red. Not that. Not green. There's bright red. Yeah, I think that probably works the best right there. Now I'm going to rotate this. Um, and I'm going to spin this around so that it is facing this direction. Very similar to what the original... Elk Mountain modding husbandry was. Just a little smaller, just a little different. 
And I think we'll throw that down right there. Okay. Now, I don't want concrete. So I do want to come in. I want to grab some decorative, excuse me, landscaping into painting. I'm just going to make sure that this is all dirt. And we'll likely come back in and put some grass in. And I got to look inside. Let's run up here and see what the bottom. Yep, you see it added concrete. So that's no problem. We're just going to come back into the map editor. Choose a color from landscaping, painting. And we're going to dump dirt like that. So we've got our building. Now we need to add that animal basically open pasture. It's small, but it still is an open pasture. And it is called the Open Pasture Ready Expandables Pasture Mod. Now, I think the, you'll have to check me on this. This might not be all platforms, but it might be. I'll have to go back and check. You know, I didn't really plan on doing a video today, but I started building and I thought, you might be interested in this, so I hit record. So I gotta go back and double check and see if this is available for all platforms. If it is, that's awesome. If not, there are some other options that you could use. So I'm gonna put this probably right here. And it says it overlaps with another object, right? You get that all the time. I'm going to press the V key. On console, I can't remember what it is, but there is a way to turn off that, that overlap feature so that you can place an item wherever the heck you want it. Just like that. Now we're going to grab some fencing. And I really, really like um, a set of fence here. That's called the Farm Fence Pack Mod. I like it because it's a little more put together than some of the base game black wooden fencing. Um, and I really like that the gates, well, they show up like this. I'll show you. Whoops, I think I went past it. You actually see the gate closed, which I really, really do like. Now, I don't remember which way that opens. I think it opens out to those hinges right there. If you can see those. Yep, it's going to open towards me because you can see the hinges. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to put another one. Maybe about right here. And then, just like any other fencing, I'm going to find the, the fence that I like. It's the same fence. Now, the one difference here, it doesn't snap to those gates. That's okay. No big deal. Just put the post as close as you can there and run your fence out just like you normally would. But I think I'm going to start over here. We'll do that. We're going to run that out to maybe here. there. And I like having this, you know, these weeds. I think it adds realism to the area. And I'm just going to try to line this up as best as possible so that it's both straight and uh, in line with that other uh, gate. Run that over to here. And then we just got to close it up. right there. Now, what you can do with this, if you want to expand this area, so the blue area is where your animal is going to roam, you can actually come in to animals, and you can come to expandable or pasture extensions, and you can find areas, and you can actually add on to where you want your animal to be able to roam. Um, in this particular instance, I really don't care. Like, I don't mind if my horse just kind of walks around in the center. 
But, you know, what the heck, I might put that right here so that the horse goes up to the fence line. And it's going to ask you, what pasture do you want to extend? I want to extend the horse pasture. I'm going to say OK. And then I might rotate this here. And I might put that there. And same, I want the horse pasture 1 to be extended there. Now, don't go crazy with these. I've heard reports that if you you know, put tons of these out and about, um, you can get some significant performance degradation. So I think we'll be fine with this. And we'll jump out, and you'll see that the blue goes away. It's gone. No issues there. And we're going to add a horse. In fact, I think I might add two horses this time. So I had that one horse. Um, maybe the health wasn't going up because it was lonely. I don't know. So let's select this, let's buy, yes. And then let's grab one more, maybe a beautiful gray horse. There we go, and now you can see they're right here and they should, if I'm not mistaken, walk around. Or if I add more horses, they might go into those other pastures. Or they might just stay in the center. I have no, no clue. <laughs> but there you have it. Now, we need to dress this up a little bit. So, I would like to do some modifications to the ground. I've got to get my little uh, utility massy in there. I've got some vegetable fertilizer over here. Vegetable and fruit fertilizer for these apple trees. We've got some various implements. We've got horse feed as well. So I'm going to take my usual landscaping tool and I'm just going to repaint grass. So I want to redo this. I want to make it honestly a little more messy. So we'll just paint this here like that. And then I'm going to grab my grass. I'm not worried about the details just yet. We'll come in and we'll make the pathways after I get all of this down. I always recommend you put your base layer down of the paint or whatever um, ground texture you want first. And just fill it in everywhere. It will be significant, e significantly easier in the long run uh, than trying to go in and just... You know, with pinpoint accuracy, add uh, details after the fact. Just put all your grass down. Okay, and I think I might even fix this too. So let me go into painting here. I don't love this because it's got a it's got a, a slope to it and it just it's gonna erode over time, I have a feeling. So into landscaping. We'll come in, we're gonna flatten this up, and we're just gonna have a nice soft edge on this. And we're just gonna flatten that out. It's okay that we're getting some of the corn. I've got thousands of acres here anyways, no big deal. Flatten that out a little bit. We want to make sure the entryway into it is not too compromised. We want to be able to still turn in here. We'll smooth that out. Now I'll come in and I'll grab my grass once again. Just paint this ever so nicely like that. Now you're saying, well, Stover, where the heck, where's the drive path? We got to add the drive path. Yeah, let's do that now. First, let's grab a little bit of softening. Let's just soften this up a little bit. And I think I might even, before we put the drive path in, come into my plants. Oh, that's my, we don't want it there. That is where you go in. That's the gate, dummy.
And I'm just tapping this randomly, putting these uh, larger weeds really anywhere, just randomly. In fact, the more random you can make it, the better. And you might change it up a little bit, put some other types of, you know, wildflowers in here. This is called grass, but these are like a, a nice white wild, wild flower. And this is 100% just your preference. There is no right or wrong when adding these details in. And the reality is, you don't even need to be super accurate. Just throw it in wherever you want. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a similar layer of grass, but a lower layer of grass, a lower cut layer of grass. I'm going to make it a circle. And now I'm going to put my drive path in. I usually do this with, like, gravel, but... I've really, really been liking this look recently. Where you come in here with just a, you know, a, an air, a layer of uh, smushed or cut grass. And we'll run this over here. We'll come around the barn. We'll come out there. Now we've got to add the other tire track. We'll keep it as close as we can. Make that turn. Remember, this is our hay storage. We got over a hundred bales of hay off of our uh, hay field. That's got to last us through the winter. Right now, it wasn't really doing anything because those cows down in the open pasture. Their health wasn't going up. I don't even think they were eating. Okay, so see, you kind of see the look that that gives. And you could, you know, play around with this. You could change certain aspects of it if you don't like the look of that. You could do, um, come into the painting uh, menu. You could grab some gravel grass. And you could maybe sprinkle in just a little bit of gravel grass here and there. Whatever you think looks the most realistic for your farm. Just do that, this little area. And maybe over here too where the bales go in. Because this is where you'd be you'd be turning, right? You'd get uh, you know, you get mud, you get grass dying, and you'd probably wanna maybe cover that up just a little bit. But you'd still have growth coming up. There we go, I like that. I do like that. Okay, so there we go. Now, we get to just kind of have a little bit more fun um, because we do need to add some areas to store things. So I still need to... I need to store this stuff. So where the heck are we going to put it? And how do we make a barn feel, I don't know, more like a horse husbandry? Well, let's do this. Let's go in first and let's grab some of this and let's make some of this grass slightly higher... I don't know if this will reset um, every night. Sometimes mods like this, if they have a plane of grass in them, uh, they will reset to the base um, layer of grass or whatever the mod maker put on it um, each evening or when you reload the game. So I don't know. That may not look like that when I come back into the game. But that's okay. Let's grab... I think I'd like to put some type of fence inside here. Because this, you know, the horses would need to come in. And they would need to bunk. Have, have an area to sleep if they wanted to come inside with foul weather. So let me see if I can put maybe a... Something in here... That would work. And remember... What we're doing here is we're adding items inside of other items. And you can see I've actually got clipping turned off there. I've got the um, uh, collisions turned off. So now I can actually fly into buildings, which is so nice. 
And we can come here and let's add, so we've got kind of a, a more, a lighter colored wood here. So let me see if I can maybe put a fence right here. I think there's lights in here as well. So I need to be careful of that trigger. Do that. And then... Maybe run that over to there. And maybe put in some... I don't know, some stalls. Just some little stalls. These aren't going to be functional, obviously, but it's, again, it's more for aesthetics. There we go. I kind of like that. And then let's just look in decorations and see if there's anything in here that we might like that might really, uh, you know, help this barn out. Again, the Elk Mountain Modding Barn, that would have been perfect to keep and use. It just wasn't working, so we're fixing it. Let's see if there's anything in here that I want. When you get so many mods available in your mod folder, scrolling through all these decorative uh, placeable items takes forever. There's some barrels. Maybe we'll put some barrels right there. Actually, let's put the barrels over here in the corner. Like that. Those are cement bags. That wouldn't make any sense. Grain sacks. Yeah, let's put some grain sacks in here. Maybe right here at the door. A feeder. That could potentially go, you know, right here on the corner. Maybe we want our ladder. And again, this is just where you get to absolutely have fun with it. Maybe we've run water out here. So we have a water tap. We've got a nice area we can wash our hands, put that there. What else can we put in? And again, this is where you get to have so much fun with the game. You're building an environment. You're building it. You're not used, you're not you know, waiting for a mod to come out or dismissing a mod, uh, you, you're, you're making it yourself with available placeable items inside the game. And again, I think everything here, everything that we just did, is all platform. I think. Could be wrong. But I'm fairly certain. I, I hear my dog. I want to get like a... Maybe a table? Yeah, that would work. Put a table right there. And maybe a chair. <laughs> I like that. Now, if you want to get really, really fancy with it, we could come over here. And we can turn on store deliveries and maybe put some straw bales in there. So let's grab this. I want super small bales. So, let's see. Here we go. I don't need that many. Let's... Oh my gosh, that is a ton of... Okay, I see what it did. I don't need all of those. Let's buy that amount. So we had those delivered. Can I not... Pick, is that one bale? Are those small bales? Hmm. Oh, I guess it is. Okay, well, we'll just maybe... We'll open that up. And that opens up this way. My dog is out here. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll just store some, some hay back here. Just like that. And you could put you know, gates on the front of this if you wanted to. It's really up to you, and you can see that all of this still functions. The real heart of the husbandry, though, is out here, where we've got to add water, and we've got to add 
feet. So let's make sure we get them what they need so they're not going hungry. A little horse feed. We'll feed them real fast. Now, we do need to feed or give water, so that's something we can do right now. We can come over here and open this gate. Grab my... Where's it at? It's over here. Grab the old gator. And I think I might have water in this already. I'm waiting for the controller to reconnect. Let me grab it. Come on, connect. There we go. And I'm like 99% certain there's water in here, although I've turned off the heads up display just for recording. That's okay. Come over here. And you can see that path. Now you might say, oh my gosh, the center path, there's, there's so much grass. Again, play around with it. Make it to your liking. If you don't like this, you do something different. I don't want to hit my dog. See if I can do it. Back it up here. Yes. Nope. Hit the door. <laughs> and then we'll fill it up. So now they have water, they have feed. If you ride these animals and you keep them clean, now their health, which I, I hope, will go up. Again, this was just taking the old Elk Mountain uh, husbandry, which, for really all intents and purposes, looks just like what we just built. But we're now using... Probably the right term would be more modern or more recently uh, released mods. Uh, that hopefully will function properly uh, on this map. And now, okay, what didn't we do? We did not put in, so yes, keep me honest, folks, we got to put in a couple of items here because I want to store my feed and my food and all that good stuff. It's a little big. Yeah, that'll work. So let's put this right here. shop area is restricted. That's okay. We'll fix that. So by using the store deliveries mod, because remember we had that bale added, um, I've got to go in and remove that just by resetting it. So we'll just move the store deliveries over here. We'll come back in and maybe place another one of these. What does this look like? I think that's too big. Put another one over here. Maybe like this. Around that corner. And then come in, grab your landscaping, your painting. Just do whatever you want here. Whatever suits your soul. Like that. Now, I don't love that little feeder that I put right there. I'm going to sell that. In its place, I'm going to come into my productions. Actually, it's in buildings, containers. I want to put a water spigot. Because remember, we got a water. We've got that uh, sink right there. So ideally, or more than likely, we ran a water line down from the house. Um, so I want to put a spigot right here. Just like that. And then if you want, you know, come in, grab some of your landscaping, some of your painting, maybe mess this up a little bit. Because you've got, you know, again, your grass isn't perfect. Do whatever you want. 
And there is your completed and fixed, hopefully, husbandry based on the old Elk Mountain Modding Horse Farm.